Peggy 7. Hi, I'm Stephen Amell, and I'm voicing Green Arrow in Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Knowing the Arrow universe, I think that it will be fun to see Green Arrow go to outer space. We started off by going, right, we've got this great video cast, but who else could we include? So that got us thinking about characters like Stephen Amell. And we ended up including people like Kevin Smith, because he's kind of like massive into his comic books. When I was asked to be involved in the game, they said, do you want to know what it's about? And I said, is it Lego? They said, yeah. Is it Batman's? They said, yeah. I said, do I have to act? They said, you have to play you. I said, I'm in. I'll do anything you want, including dirty stuff. They said, it's a family game. That wouldn't be needed. Play yourself? That's interesting. Let me think about that. Hmm. No. Okay. Everyone ready? A character like Kevin Smith will, will give him abilities that match his real-life personality. So, for example, he'll use a loudspeaker to shout at people and stun opponents. All right, Snowball, let's make you a star. <laughs> I love it. My role in the game is to play Conan O'Brien, help people out who are having trouble, maybe need some guidance. Here's the Slideways Teleporter. Next up, Batcave. Which is hilarious, because I'm terrible at video games. In real life, I know nothing. So with the inclusion of uh, Conan O'Brien when we were creating as a character, he's incredibly tall. So we had the idea that we, we still need to create within the minifigure guidelines, um, but we wanted to give him a massive hairpiece. I was quite pleased with my Lego figure. The head-to-body ratio, massive head, and uh, skinny body. I took this part because my son found out that I had been made this offer, and he said, you're doing this. I'm a long-time DC Comics fan. My favorite character on the planet has to be Batman. So, naturally, being involved in a Batman Lego game is a dream come true. He is one of the few people in a cape and a mask that you could actually go, hey, this could work. The first game that came out, like, I was going nuts, because it was like, the Batcave, Robin, Nightwing, like, every character. So, to be able to kind of jump into that world, even if it was just like, be the voice of Man Bat or something like that, I would have done it in a heartbeat. I always think that one of the things that makes Arrow and Batman most captivating is because of the lack of, of superpowers, there's a real inherent danger and jeopardy. And I think people can relate to that. That doesn't freak you out? Bats and rats aren't so different. You're not actually a bat. I believe that I will play this game with my eight-year-old son. And then I think my son will say, Dad, please leave. You're ruining the game. You're so bad at this. Your character keeps walking into a wall. And I'll be asked to leave. Some people go for Oscars and stuff. Me, I went for like, only I get into a Lego game and I'm done. I peaked at age 43. Oh, hmm, hey, hi.